Hey, what's up, YouTube list? EXO coming at you here, feeling like a million bucks. Thanks to you guys, we just broke over a quarter of a million subscribers. Holy crap, talk about crazy, right? 250K, whew, I can't even believe it, guys. So thank you, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for subscribing to the YouTube channel. On today's video, we'll be focusing back on Little Blue, our four-door Saturn Ion, and try changing some things up a bit. Since the sound system is already on hiatus, this gives us a good time frame to choose all new door speakers, and more importantly, build all new door panels. With this car capable of reaching over 160 decibels, having the right style and amount of mids and high speakers can really make or break a system. That's why this time around, we're going all out. And thankfully, with Parts Express rooting for us, we somehow managed to get the attention of B and C Speakers, a world-famous Italian-made company known for specializing in high-grade speaker tech. At first, I was like, damn, is this even real? But after chatting more with our buddy Jeff, the true scope of the project set in. Instead of just replacing our current door speakers and calling it a day, the new plan is much more time consuming and more difficult to build. Consisting of four speakers and a single compression driver per door, the sheer amount of work needed to complete something like this at least needed to be worth the gamble of trying something new. So after more research and weighing out the alternatives, the decision was pretty easy. EXO gonna be rocking B and C. <laughs> so in this video, let's check out the new speaker and see just what we're getting ourselves into. For starters, we need to pinpoint what characteristics we're looking for most. First up, we'll need ourselves a waterproof cone. Can't tell you how many times I've found myself in a full sprint just trying to save my speakers from the rain at a car show. No more of that. Second, we'll need a good amount of excursion. Because the subs die off around 80 hertz, having a speaker with more travel will sound more balanced and have more output for that commonly forgotten octave just above the subwoofers. Lastly, we'll need lots of power handling. Car audio is a constant battle of outside noise, so having the ability to drown it out is really the only way to get the job done sometimes. 100 watts or better should do just the trick. So with these things in mind, let's pop over to Parts Express and see which speakers best match our needs. Starting off by filtering results, we'll stick with the B and C collection and browse through just the Neo options that come in at 6.5 inches. Whew, that definitely narrows things down a little bit. Viewing these three options, they all look the part, but only one has the specs we're looking for. Although each speaker has both the wattage and the waterproofing we need, the other specs show two of them may not perform so well near our subwoofer's low-pass crossover. Any guesses? A quick comparison between the MBX and the NDL confirms our suspicion. Take a look at this. The added X-Max of the NDL38 gets us a whole octave lower of bass response, bringing the suggested tuning from 120 hertz to 62 hertz. Now that will blend way better with our subwoofers. And with their rubber surrounds and second smallest mounting depth, I think these B and C's are just the right choice for us. They'll be nice and throaty on those lower high pass settings while still being nice and loud when we decide to go nuts. Can't go wrong with that. Now let's head over to the compression drivers and take care of our high frequencies. Sorting by a few more filters according to our size limits, we'll be looking for a one inch throat, over 100 watts, and for a more aggressive sound, a nice titanium diaphragm. That gives us these two options, the DE250 and 550s. They're both great choices as far as size goes, but acoustically, I think the 550s will work a bit better for us. They have a Neo magnet, larger voice coil, more efficiency, and can handle slightly lower crossovers. Pairing that with the smallest size horn we can find, the cheapest one looks like our best bet too. We don't have much room for anything bigger, so the aluminum ME20s are an easy pick. And after the horns are attached, the mounting depth is still only 6.9 inches, which next to the 250s is the second smallest combination there is. Almost a perfect scenario. So there we have it guys, a full rundown of the new mids and highs setup from B and C speakers. So in the meantime, while we're waiting for UPS, let's hop back inside Little Blue and have some fun just messing around finding new and cool looking speaker arrangements. The biggest thing to remember when planning new door pods is how things like handles, switches, seats, and body parts 
all affect the location of your arrangements. Just cramming in a buttload of speakers won't matter, Jack, if the damn thing won't even close, right? So having a good point of reference is very important. The best way to find out where to put everything is by sitting in the car yourself and marking out all the areas that are basically no-nos. Anything below the thigh, forward of the dash, too close to the window crank should obviously be avoided. Pretty simple stuff, and once that's figured out, you can fool around with different placements all you want. Here's the top pick so far. The first option uses the layout we have now, but kind of swoops around the whole door with the 550 in the center. The second option is essentially the same thing, but instead of going above the window crank, we swooped below it. The third option is having as many speakers in a row as possible. That means placing the 550 in the uppermost center closest to the listener. This is my favorite layout so far and makes more sense than having the 550 tucked away in a lower, more blockable area. So with that behind us, I think we're one step closer to figuring all this out. All right, guys, it's the moment of truth. We got the ever famous Ginsu blade ready to check out some friggin' B and C. I am so excited to get Little Blue finally rolling again. I know, I know, I'm kind of those person who always focuses on the bass and kind of puts the mids and highs on the back burner. When you first start bass, that's kind of like a really common thing, to focus on the subwoofers before you get to the kind of expensive speakers. All the way from Italy into EXO's hands. Oh man, there's quite a bit of stuff in here, isn't there? Here's the sixes, guys. I gotta just get right into there. Oh my God, look at that. That is just beautiful. Nice little bumped back plate for that added X-Max that we were talking about. And there's the waterproofing on the cone right there. Almost looks like a little mini subwoofer if you ask me. I'm gonna be able to just have these in the rain and not even worry about it. And it looks like a nice linear spider, single layer. You can see a nice vent here on the back to keep things nice and cool when we're gonna be putting over 150 watts to her. And overall, just a beautiful, beautiful looking driver. The six NDL 38s, eight ohm version. Let's set these aside for right now and get into the next part. Here's the horn for the compression driver. Check this out, guys. Perfect size. A nice aluminum waveguide for our horns. This is gonna project the sound out and it will actually amplify the sound coming from our one inch throat. So this is actually something to amplify sound. It's not just something for looks and to spread it out. It actually makes it louder. We're gonna have a nice aggressive sound keeping up with the bass. That's obviously next level, 160 decibels. You really can't expect an ordinary silk dome tweeter to keep up with the madness. So that's why we've stepped things up into the compression drivers. Now those are known for their efficiency. What, this is like over 105, I think 108 decibel efficient. Hey, we got some swag. Check this out. Thank you, BNC. Look at that, guys. They sent me over a little mug. Drink up some DBs for the future. Remember we were kind of raving about the size uh, combination between the 550 and the ME20s? Well, look at this. I think we're in Confirmation City 101 here. Let me pull this out and show you next to my hand. Holy crap, the bolts. Look at that, the bolts are holding it up. <laughs> the hardware, it's that strong of a magnet. Pull this up. Oh, there goes all the stuff. I just broke the baggie. Holy crap, that is some strong stuff. What a beautiful piece of equipment this is. And this right here will be louder than any tweeter we have ever come across in our installation so far. The back of it is where you plug in your speakers and there is no direct place to mount this. That's why having an aluminum guide, an aluminum horn, really helps because of the strength around the front of it. And then the other mounting points are what hold it in from going anywhere. So it's really good to have something strong. A combination of these two paired with our huge amplifier from Crescendo Audio, I think we're gonna be making some serious noise. Oh my God, look at the mayhem that's about to incur. Whew, I can already see how beautiful all this is gonna look when it's finally installed in Little Blue and since you guys know basically the layout that we're going for, what would you do? Would you have the, the this in the center, the speakers on the outside, or how would you lay it out if you had Little Blue and all these new speakers? It's interesting to see what you guys think. Although right now I'd say I'm pretty headstrong on where I kinda wanna go, Having suggestions always helps build up the ideas. You know what I'm saying? So there we have it, guys. That is just about it for this video. I'm telling you, I'm still kind of reveling on the BNCs. Very happy to have partnered up with a 
huge and reputable company like that, thanks to Parts Express putting in a good word with the EXO crew and mentioning about our YouTube channel. So we are definitely on course for growing even more this year. So thank you guys for subscribing and joining the process. We got so much to do and sometimes I feel a little bit overwhelmed with the, quant the, the amount of projects on my plate, but I'm not giving up. I'm gonna keep plugging away and making sure that we have fun in the process. So make sure you guys click the good old thumbs up and subscribe because EXO is going places and I wanna make sure that the OGs are right there with me. So until the next video, this is EXO signing out with my fancy new BNC speakers and all my swag that came with it. So until the next video, this is EXO signing out. Okay.